Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, late last night, Agron was active on Twitter, and we got some awesome information regarding reels and things coming to Phase 5 via Twitter, which is always, you know, good to see the devs quick on their feet replying to people's questions, and this is some pretty valuable information about tarnished undermine reels but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so i'm going to switch it over here to twitter real quick to give you guys the question so jutello said hello brother i wanted to ask your point on this and curious on your thoughts if you wish to share i heard someone say last night it would be cool if reels were in range and I saw another person say the same thing. What are your thoughts on Rails and MC, perhaps? Let me know. And by the way, Jutello is another classic WoW creator. He's a great dude. He always posts some awesome videos. So if you have not checked him out, check him out on YouTube, guys. He does awesome stuff. Um, I really do hate that so many of my replies are just saying no to things, but in the interest of explaining reasoning, I'll bite on this one again. It feels really important to us that the primary method of getting Reels uh, B dungeons. We've had in years, we've had years of WoW expansions that have essentially cut out dungeons as content by moving currencies that you get there to raids, and that just isn't what we're looking to do here. That said, we agree that the old, older single boss raids could use a bit of incentive, so you'll be able to get reels from Azurgos, Kazik, and Anixia. And Agon, why, why is Azurgos and Anixia not capped, but Kazik is? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. I don't actually care about that um, in Phase 5. Uh, so those three bosses are a decent fit for reels, but we want to be very measured on how many of those we give out from non-dungeon content. And I'd, n and I'd not expect to see them on full multi-boss raids like MC, even when it becomes older content. It's really just not what the system is for never say never but we feel pretty strongly about keeping the these focused on dungeons right now then jutella said thank you very much for the honest response amigo i have i think having clarification is all we can ask for players i heard people asking me about this and wanted to come forward to you appreciate your insight and happy to continue into phase five so I have a few thoughts on this, and as you know, I've been talking a lot about the real system and what we could see with it and what I think would be awesome. So here's sort of my entire experience from Phase 4 into Phase 5 and where I think, and so you guys can understand where I'm coming from when I explain this. So I do think this is a great start to keep those world bosses relevant. However, the question I pose to you is, do they need to remain relevant? Most raiders have been doing them two times a week for 10 weeks, at least in my guild. That's what we have done. Most people have essentially everything that they need from those bosses. And I do not think there are many people that are coming back to Sod specifically for Phase 5. As much as it pains me to admit that, I do think most people that have been playing Sod are going to just be people that are continuing to play Sod. Not many people are just going to jump right back in because of all these barriers that are up in order to get to the point where you can go into ZG or BWL. Now, MC is in an incredibly weird place this phase because we had so much gear thrown to us because the heat system we got extra pieces so a lot of those like really hard to go get ones like onslaught girdle for example onslaught girdle is still one of those best pieces that remains best for a very long time so that is something to go after however if you were doing more, uh, heat three onslaught girdles could drop off of every boss in there we saw like three of them i think and two raids drop off of the bonus bosses so that was really cool um, however, to me, in the past couple weeks, we were just rotting nearly everything. I will literally show you. Since I have enchanting, I have been stockpiling these uh, gear to ho hopefully become Nexus Crystals like you did in 2019 Classic. So if you didn't know that, a little fun fact for you. But this is all gear that from MC that has just been on rot. Like Rings of Spell Powers on rot. Uh, the Viscags on rot. Like so many pieces are just rotting. I have, you know, these are 18 slot bags. So I have four 18 slot bags just filled of MC gear for that is just pure rot. And it's kind of crazy. And we gave out, we were very generous with Auspect. Pretty much anyone that said, I'll use for Auspect, we gave it away. Um so that is where it's at and that is why it is really uh you know weird for me 
because like I have been able like we're just rotting pretty much everything I am one piece off of full miss and it is choker of the fire lord so yes I could be going to rag I could be going to get that but essentially I don't need to because there's a replacement in ZG and BWL so it makes it really hard with the heat system in place for a player and like to come in and try to go to MC as a catch up raid to get gear they're almost like it's if they fill a row we'll hard carry them so like I'm looking for a disc priest right now um, if they were to come in here like it, it could be a disc priest with no gear and we would blast an MC for them to give them full tier one gear and cap them because we are rotting it the entire tier set so that's what I would do and it feels weird so my personal belief on this and I have shared this in a few videos you now is I would so much rather see the defiler surge stone from wrath of the lich king classic come into play where you can buy last phases loot mc the azergos bosses off of those stone off of uh the vendors for reals and I think it is such a massive win for everyone because it keeps five-man content incredibly relevant. Everyone probably needs like one or two pieces maybe. There are probably very few people that are full bis. Um, and so I could go there and I could go get that um, instead of just having pre-farmed 100 reels to go get my tier 2 bracers later today when the server launches. Um, and then never touching a dungeon again like even if they change the cap to 125 i still have 100 so i can just simply go and get 25 more in two dungeons and then go and buy my tier two bracers and then i don't need to do dungeons anymore because i played last phase and i raided like i can simply just raid log and that sucks to say but i think a lot of players are going to do that because they don't have anything to do if i wasn't recruiting for my guild i probably wouldn't be lo logged in playing as much as i have been um and so i think the defiler scourge shown is such a great way to go about this and i think it'd be a huge uh, system one they've already proven it works to it revitalized wrath and i started doing wrath five man content again even though i was you know it's to get those missing pieces because everyone wants their miss even if it's a phase late like it is something i can do to improve my character right now and increase his power level that doesn't rely on a heat system that is, causes extremely gated or a um you know 19 other players i only have to find four other players to do dungeons and i can puzzle those i don't have to have raid coordination to get the boss down but anyway those are just my thoughts my opinions i think it would be massive for the game and that is my thought process my plea and maybe uh you know i frequently watches these so hopefully he checks out this one and we could maybe get some insight on that but anyway guys that's it for this video let me know what you guys think down below and until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye hey you yes you are you still there well I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.